What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna keep this intro short, sweet, and to the point. I'm starting a 21 day challenge. This video is from like a month ago. I was kind of embarrassed to post it because I'm so out of shape, but I thought, you know what? If I'm gonna do this, let me do it right and let me not try to like get in shape before starting, starting my workout videos again. So I'm gonna start a 21 day challenge where we start from scratch, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this video, see how he trains me. And then at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and get into more details for the 21 day challenge. Whenever I train with G, I always start with some cardio on the Stairmaster. I do anywhere from about 20 to 30 minutes from level 8 through about 10. One thing that I really like about training with G is he's super hands-on and he always demonstrates and shows me the workout in the proper form. Here, I think he had either 25 or 35 pound kettlebell. And as you can see, we're just doing lateral squats on a BOSU ball. For this workout, we are going to do three sets of 10 reps on each side. And the main things that he asked me to focus on is one, keeping my knee behind my toes and then getting the deepest squat possible while also keeping my chest up. This next exercise really targeted my glutes. Using the same kettlebell with the same weight, I'm gonna get into the resistance band and just thrust my hips forward. For this workout, we did three sets of 10 reps and the things he asked me to focus on was making sure that my core was engaged and tight. For this next exercise, I am using the BOSU ball and sliders, which are death. I am alternating legs and driving my knees forward, and I'm gonna be doing three sets of 10 reps on each side. The things that he asked me to focus on was one, keeping my core tight and making sure that my back was as flat as possible. Directly right after the sliders, I am going to be doing 20 seconds of mountain climbers. The next workout that I am getting into is using the same kettlebell and like I said I'm not sure if it was 25 or 35 pounds but doing two skips and then squatting down. For this exercise he asked me to make sure that I focus on keeping my chest up, getting a very deep squat and making sure the kettlebell touches the bottom and also making sure that my knees are not going over my toes. This is the exercise where I really knew I was out of shape. Um, so as you can see, I'm just alternating legs and driving my leg towards the bar. The bar that I'm holding over my head is 10 pounds.
Then with no breaks, I'm going into the second core workout, which is kind of self-explanatory, just driving my knees towards my chest and the bar over my knees. So this core workout by far was the hardest because I had to make sure that my arms were completely straight and I was driving them over side to side. I did 10 of these. For this next exercise, I am going to be using a medium resistance band. And as you can see, has, he has already demonstrated what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, ideally, in a perfect world, my butt is not supposed to be in the air like that. But obviously, your girl is out of shape. So I'm just alternating legs side to side, sidestepping, and then driving my heels up towards the air. I did 10 of these. And then without any breaks, I jumped into another resistance band workout, which is just laying flat on my stomach and then driving my heels straight into the air and kind of doing a slight hold at the top. And I also did 10 of these. I don't even know what to call this next exercise because honestly he just makes up his things how he goes and I don't know maybe this is like an elevated lunge kickback. Um, I'm using a 15 pound dumbbell and then as you can see I have one leg raised on a stepper and then I am just driving my back leg straight back and then also making sure that my chest is up, my knees are behind my toes and I'm just driving my heel straight in the air while it is at a 90 degree angle. For this workout, because I did a lighter weight, I did 12 reps three times and then I alternated legs, which I did not show in the video, but obviously I'm doing both sides. This is pretty straightforward, but I'm just doing simple squats, but my heels are actually elevated. So this is gonna target a different part of my body. I did 12 reps three times and then transitioned into the next workout. For this workout, I am using a band and my feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. Then I am going to be driving my hips forward and doing kind of like a hip abductor move two times and then dipping down. Obviously at this point I did a full session, but I swear I was sore the next day because of this specific workout. You can actually feel your glutes on fire while you're doing this. And then without any breaks, we jumped into this exercise where I just kept my feet basically the same distance apart. I sat up and I just pulsed my legs out 12 times and then paused for about three to five seconds. All right, y'all, so that's the end of the video. I was so tired, but I felt really, really good. So I'm excited to see what my progress looks like. I'm gonna have a full transformation, y'all. So basically, for the next 21 days, you guys can expect meal videos, more workout videos, and kind of like a workout video that's actually interactive. I don't know if you guys want me to kind of repeat the same format as like my 10 minute ab workout or my booty workout video where you guys can follow along, but content for the next 21 days will be definitely fitness related. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get these results and I will see you in the next upload.